deployment in power platform is something that always needs attention hi everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we'll be talking about the power platform pipelines this is the new feature that is added into the power platform the aim of this feature is to automate the deployment for the so long time we are doing the deployment and we follow the traditional approach where we simply take the export of the solution from our development environment and push it into the production or maybe the QA environment. So now the Power Platform Pipeline is itself a system that's designed to automate this process of deployment. Okay, so I will create the series of the, the videos on this topic, how we can add the Power Platform Pipelines to our environment, how we can automate the deployment but as this is the first video so in this video the aim is to show you how we can install the power platform pipelines into our tenant okay in order to download the in order to install this power platform pipeline into your environment you you should have the admin privileges okay so let me just take you how you can if you have the admin privileges you can download that system into your tenant okay so here is the power platform screen now if you have the admin privilege you can just go to the this gear icon and from here there is an option to go to the admin center just go to the admin center it's a good practice to install this system into your managed environment because managed environment is something that is actually not provided for the developers to do the to, to do that end up of development work so because as it itself a system so it needs it should be in the managed environment okay so now in where here we need to just check in which environment I like it to be installed so I'll go with the list of the environments that I have in my tenant so here I can see the list of environments that I have now let's say if I like to install in this environment this sandbox environment of mine I open this environment and here I have the place from where the resources from the resources I can go to the Dynamics 365 app okay you click on this Dynamics 365 app and here we can search for the pipeline you search for Power Platform Pipeline. It's a type of a dynamic Microsoft Dynamics 365 publisher. We click on this three dots and click on the install. Here, in this dialog box, we need to select in which environment we would like it to install. So, I'll install in this environment now. Okay. The prerequisites for this thing for this application to be installed in the environment is you should have first the admin privilege that I already mentioned second one is the environment where you are installing it should have the dataverse okay so I'm just installing it to my this environment now and I need to just click on the agree and terms and conditions click on the install now it has started installing so it will take little time to get installed into the environment so in that meantime i'm just pausing the, that video so that once it get done i can show you what exactly has downloaded into this environment so here we can see i guess it has downloaded the power platform pipelines it has now installed okay now we'll come to the environment our environment where we have installed this and we go with the solutions and the solutions we find three new type of solutions app deployment these three okay yes so these three solutions comes here and we find the main content in this app solution this solution we find first thing you have might have not have noticed that its type of managed okay there's the reason I was more like uh, it's good to just install this into the managed environment okay so, 
open this environment the solution now and here i can see i have some tables some stuffs web resources everything and i have one app the app name is its type of model driven app app deployment deployment pipeline configurations here if we play this app it's not come to the edit mode play this app the overview of this app looks like look like this okay we have some things the environments pipelines the run history if we, we already have some pipeline what is the run history of that particular pipeline solution artifacts okay so that all things will consider in the next videos in this video only we are only interested for the installation of this app into our tenant or the environment okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video